Good morning, guys. Today is February 18th, and I know it's still a couple of months away before we start fishing for mackerel, but I figured today is a good day to uh, kind of show you what I use to catch them. Uh, these are the stuff I use, and you can pick these guys up at any Walmart or Cabela's or Bass Pro or any other uh, fishing tackle shops. Uh, they're all different sizes. They have different size hooks, different size uh, line, and they also come with different pricing. So uh, some are really cheap and some are expensive. So it's really up to you. But honestly, I think the cheap one works just as well as any of the expensive ones. But having said that, I should let you know that even though I carry the, all these guys with me when I go mackerel fishing, I generally don't use them. Uh, in fact, a lot of times I give them out, you know, especially when I see somebody that's uh, fishing and not catching anything, and basically somebody who is new. Uh, and I would give this to them and I'll let them try their luck with it. Uh, but for me, uh, I bring these guys as a backup in case, you know, I lose all my stuff. But in general, when I go fishing for mackerel, I use uh, a Christ what is called a Christmas tree, which is basically lures made out of surgical tubes. Uh, so the, the ones that I use are, comes in different colors. You know, we got the, we got the yellow, we got the green, we got the pink, and... We also have the red. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I do with this guys. How I make my lures. It's quick. It's simple. It's easy and really very effective when it comes to catching mackerel. Now before we go on, before we go into that, let me just add also that another reason why I don't use this guy so much is that... Uh, it's really hard to untangle if you, for instance, if you're fishing next to somebody who is uh, just learning, basically a beginner, and he crosses over your line, there's a good chance, especially if you hook onto a fish, that you're going to have a hard time untangling this because sometimes it's just impossible. So I try to stay away from that because uh, I don't feel like spending the rest of my fishing day uh, untangling my line. In addition to that, uh, sometimes when you got some mackerel on your lines already, uh, a striper will come and grab one of them. And when that happens, you feel it. You know, you feel that pop and then gone. So basically what it did is it, you know, it took the mackerel and it cut off your line. So I try to, uh, when I make my own lures, I use a little heavier line. I use, I generally use like a 15 to 17 pound test. Uh, that one, you know, at least that gives me a better chance or a fighting chance to uh, land any striper that might decide to grab onto one of my mackerel. So anyway, so what I do is uh, I basically, you know, cut this guy's into, say, three quarters to an inch. I mean, you don't really have to be exact. Uh, the mackerel in general, when they're running or schooling, they don't care you know they'll they'll grab anything that moves that's close close to them and in fact sometimes even if they don't move sometimes I let this guy sink with the sinker to the bottom to do something and next thing I know is I get a whole stringer of them uh, without even moving it but anyway like I said the mackerel are not picky they'll they'll take it no matter what size you use uh, the more the more you uh, the longer it is of course you know they have if you have a better chance because they, they can see it better. Um, so I, I basically just cut, you know, like like I said, three quarters to an inch. Uh, and I do the same. A lot of times during the winter, I just cut a lot of them, you know, and then, then just store it away for days that I'm bored. And then I just kind of uh, put them all together at the end. Uh, so we cut like that. And...
you basically do the same with with the rest of them the different colors and then all you do is take a hook uh, I generally use you know salt water uh, one two or three odd uh, straight shank hook I prefer the straight shank because it's easier I think than than using a circle hook uh, I know up here in Maine we have to use circle hooks when we're when we're fishing for stripers but I don't think they're that strict when it comes to mackerel fishing so we use I generally use this uh, so all you do is just you know thread that thing in there being careful not to hook yourself There we go. Now we're getting there. It's usually not this hard to put this thing in, but there we go. Once it snaps, so basically that's what it would look like when you're done. Okay, uh, and then you just you know you do the same with all the other colors: the red, pink, yellow, and green. And usually when I tie this to my line, I alternate the different colors. And, you know, I, us I usually put in, like, I tie either three hooks or four hooks up to six hooks. And sometimes I actually add this guy's here, which, is, which are the uh, gold and silver tensils, which, again, you can purchase at the Cabela's or Bass Pro. And, and they're fly tying section and then you just tie it on like that uh, I like to add one of these things here just as, as an extra uh, attractant you know the this thing when when the Sun hits it it gives out good reflect reflection which the fish can see so anyway so that's that's what I use and so then I just tied him on to to a line like this again it's a 15 pound test So if you were, if somebody were to cast over your line, these guys are so much easier to untangle. You know, you don't spend your rest, the rest of your fishing time untangling your line. So, and then I just put on like a, a two ounce, well, an ounce or two ounce sinker, depending on how far you want to cast it out on one end and then the other end to, uh, to the swivel on your main line. So uh, that's basically it. Like I said, it's, it's pretty simple, inexpensive, and very effective. So, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I use. And hopefully this will help some of you. Uh, you know, there's really nothing more uh, satisfying than catching fish with something you actually made yourself. That's why I, I find myself using or fishing with the ones I made more than uh, my store-bought lures. So, good luck to all of you. Hopefully we'll all have a better, uh, or hopefully we'll all have good season, fishing season. So, for now, take care. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye.